It is so weird saying 2022 instead of 2021 now. Oh my God. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a little book haul of some books that some lovely people in publishing have sent my way. So I thought I would share them with you guys before I put them away on my shelves. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have was sent to me by Wednesday Books, so thank you so much to them for sending it my way, but it is When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. This is going to be released January 4th, 2022. This is a retelling of Mamma Mia, which I am very, very excited about. This follows a girl named Millie who has big dreams of becoming a Broadway star. She has been raised by her single father for as long as she can remember. One day while on her dad's computer, she discovers his live journal from 2003 and she decides that she is going to go off and find her mother and it's like the story of that. There's also some romance in here. So I'm thinking it's going to be a super cute fluffy contemporary romance. I really liked Tweet Cute by this author so I'm really hoping that I also enjoy this one but I will let you guys know when I actually pick it up. Next up is one that I am so excited about. This was also sent to me by Wednesday Books. It is Cold the Night, Fast the Wolves by Meg Long. This is to be released January 11th, 2022. I'm just going to read the back little blurb to you because I think that it really encapsulates the whole story. But it says, on a frozen wasteland of a planet, a girl is on the run with a wolf who is born to be a killer but bound to be her guide. As they fight to escape ice goblins, giant bears, and a ruthless leader intent on trapping them both, one question drives them relentlessly forward. Where do you turn when there is nowhere to hide? I just think it sounds so stinking cool. I'm also intrigued by ice goblins and giant bears. I'm here for it. One of my goals for 2022 is to read more fantasy, so this is gonna help me out with that, and I'm very, very excited about it. The next book that I have was sent to me by Simon & Schuster. It is the sequel to Wings of Ebony by J.L. This is Ashes of Gold. It is the conclusion to the duology, and I am very intrigued to see where the story went. I read the first book back in 2021, and I did really enjoy it, so I am interested to see how it concludes. We were left on a cliffhanger in the first book, so I'm definitely excited to see where these characters go and how the story ends. And the next one was sent to me by Forever Books, and it is Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. I am so excited about this one. This is another one that is releasing January 18th, 2022. This follows a woman named Dahlia who just had a divorce and quit her job, but she is finally going after her culinary dreams, and she is the new contestant on the cooking show Chef's Special. And then it also follows London Parker, who has just come out as non-binary on national television. They are another contestant on this cooking show, and they are very distracted by Dahlia. They seem to have a lot of chemistry, but London cannot be distracted because they are competing to raise a lot of awareness and money for the queer community, so they need to stay focused, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm hoping for a lot of witty banter because that's what I like in my my romances, so we're gonna see how that goes. And I also just really like the idea of a romance set during a cooking show because I tried to read the young adult version of it. I cannot remember what it was called, but I will insert a picture here. But I only ended up giving that one three out of five stars, so I'm hoping that this one is a lot more enjoyable than I found the other one, but I guess we'll see but I'm, I'm very excited about this one. The next one that I have is Anatomy, A Love Story by Dana Schwarter, and honestly, I don't know what this is about. The back of the book just says, the human heart is a mystery, a young lady who wants to be a surgeon more than she wants to marry, a resurrection man trying to survive in a city where it's too easy to die, and the freshly dug up corpses that bring these two tender souls together. A deliciously gruesome gothic tale about the lengths one will go for their passion and the sinister twists of fate that lurk in the shadows. So I honestly, I don't know what to take from that, but I am intrigued. It says that it's a love story, a murder mystery, and a horror novel bound up together in ghoulish stitches. So sounds like it will be up my alley. We'll have to see, but this cover is stunning. This one is also releasing January 18th of 2022. 
And then the final book that I was sent to by St. Martin's Press is The Christie Affair by Nina de Gourmont. This one is not releasing until February 2022. It says that it is a beguiling novel of star-crossed lovers, heartbreak, revenge, and murder, and a brilliant reimagination of one of the most talked about unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. I'm just gonna read the back because again I think that it covers the whole concept really well. It says, London 1925, in a world of townhomes and tennis matches, socialites and shooting parties, Miss Nan O'Day became Archie Christie's mistress, luring him away from his devoted and well-known wife, Agatha Christie. The question is why? Why destroy another woman's marriage? Why hatch a plot years in the making? And why murder? How is Nan O'Day so intricately tied to those 11 mysterious days that Agatha Christie went missing? I'm intrigued. I also didn't even know Agatha Christie went missing because apparently this is true. So I'm clearly behind on the times and the history and all that jazz, but I am definitely intrigued and I want to know more. All right, everybody. So those were the couple of books that some publishers have sent my way recently. So I thought I would share them with you guys. Let me know down below if you have read any of these, what you thought of them, or if you plan on picking them up once they are released. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.